What up, though? This is TWE Shell Shocker, and right now I'm still creating sounds. You know, creating the sounds that I want instead of trying to uh, purchase sample packs. If you already got realistic sounds already and Reason has a lot of good ones, you can actually tweak them and make them very convincing. It's completely how you design the sound. I'm working on my uh, tenor sax. I've already, thanks. As a matter of fact, before I start, I want to give a shout out to uh, Ace Jackson, DJ Ace, uh, for uh, pinpointing, reaching out to his resources to find out what that bad boy for life Puff Daddy's guitar was, the a Stratocaster, and uh, I was able to make my own, so I'll play an example. There's no really serious effect. I'm all about just designing the sound, getting the dry, raw sound. And then later on, if I want to add some crazy effects, I should be able to do so. So I'm going to use that as the example. All right. As you can see, I already created my... Uh, Stratocaster. If we go inside, you can see I, I combine different types of guitars, not just one type of guitar. I've used the basic Strat Edge, which, which was really dope already inside Reason alone, just the normal one. Then I went inside the Sonic Realities refill, the 60s and 70s, and grabbed the Strat from there and a funky guitar from inside there as well. Then I also applied a scream fuzz, as you can see here. I applied a uh, custom made scream. I did some fine tuning to it, a start off point, and then I finished it off by adding uh, some tweaking inside of the line, amp, line six amps, which is discontinued in later versions of Reason. So good for me. However, I am working on a sax patch now, and I'm trying to make these patches interchangeable with each other. So I'm just tweaking some things inside the NNXT, one of my favorite samplers to use. So I'm gonna just grab this handle and stretch this note down so that uh, I can get some deeper notes within the tenor sax. So I got one tenor sax and I have one baritone sax together. So, oh, we are on, what are we on? We're actually on our strat, aren't we? So we need to get down to our saxophone. My apologies. That sound dope, just like that. Them saxophones got grit to them, and that's what's awesome about them. And, and when you layer them together with that Strat, it gives that real grimy uh, Detroit soul type of sound, that New York hip-hop type of sound that Just Blaze be using, for example. And these are like some elements you could use uh, within, again... Uh, mellowed out tracks and and just try to add that contrast to it to give it more of a uh, a punchy feel and I'm going to also add a trombone to it as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that because the trombone also has a nice amount of bite to it so again I'm going to go back to the trombones inside the vintage horns the more real that your sound is the better off you end up being so let's find the trombone stab shorts i need the shorts not the stabs let me test it yep so now with this one as well i gotta go inside as i select it i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna tune this one to bring it down some top note take it down to an octave Oh, it 
didn't go down. Let me drag it down some more then. Uh-oh. My fault. Didn't want to move that one. Just this handle here. There we go. I'm going to take it down to F. Get down there so that it becomes more like a, uh, a bass trombone now. And how these patches, how I'm making them, is that these will serve as the top end of the instrument and you could use some sort of bass to really add that punch, that feel to it. And also, since this is going to be a custom TWE patch, I want to try something else. I might think about adding maybe a clav. Let's see what we can do with that. I want to see if I can add a nice clav to this just to see how it will turn out, how it would work. So uh, I'm going to go back to the 60s and 70s refill up here. Uh, and I'm just going to cipher through, let's see, keys, claps, and I just want to play with them. Let me play with them. That almost sounds pretty good. Hold on. It gives more of a top end, a punch, a punch, a to the uh, the rest of the elements. I like that one, that's not bad either. Nope. Okay, let's go back up. sounds all right I'm just gonna blend it in now all right that you can barely hear it put some here might move some a tenor sax over there bring it down some actually no side I really want to make this short now that I hear it I'm not too much of a fan of the clap let's get rid of it it was a nice that's nice attempt but no nah, I don't even want the clap the the horns and the saxophones is pretty dope in itself so I'm just gonna leave it at that so I got a sax and I got a strat. Um, and again, thanks uh, Ace for finding that out about that that sound of that guitar for me. And uh, with that being said, just creating sounds and and getting them ready for future productions is a really dope way to go, so to, so that you don't have to go and uh, constantly purchase new sounds when you can make them right inside your DAW. And uh, peace. Yeah.